Hello, good day and welcome back. So this is sort of a teaser video of what the next series is going to be. So I'm going to be doing a series called Programming Language is Compared. And so I thought of this last week when I was about to post a video on Docker containers and how you can build programs and put them in Docker containers, specifically Go programs. And then I thought, you know what? Um, every time I talk to people about programming, um, I always, you know, tend to compare programming languages and say some of the things that I think are good in some one language versus things that I think are better in another language. Now, no language is going to give you everything you want, but definitely um, a language will give you, um, you know, will make certain things that you want to do easier to do, right? So let's say you want to write concurrent program, a language like Go is going to make that easier than a language that doesn't, um, you know, provide some of the primitives. Another, you can do it in, let's say, C++. We've been writing concurrent program or multi-threaded program in C and C++ for a long time. Um, but then languages like Java came around and just made that easier. And so it made it more accessible to more individuals. And now with uh, a language like Go, it makes it even more accessible. Okay. Never mind all that. The, the bottom line is we're going to take a stab at a number of languages. Now, I have to caution you. I'm not going to try to teach you all these languages. What I'm going to do instead, it takes simple things that you might want to do, like opening a file, manipulating a map, things like that, and then say, well, how do I do that in some of these languages? I'm going to try and give an example for all the languages, but for some of them, it's not going to make sense, especially C. And we'll see why. But is that C is a language I love also, even though certain things are going to be very hard to do in C compared to almost all the other languages. So here's an example. So let's say you want to do a kind of call Hello World program. This is the C version. Um, again, it doesn't look like a whole lot is that you have to do to, to get Hello World printed on the screen. And there is our main function and the printf function which you're going to see in a lot of languages we're going to talk about, we're going to have the print or printf function. And that's because the printf was popular in C and is basically how you do all your printouts in C. And so other languages that came afterward just use the same idea. Here is a hello world in Go. And if you notice, it doesn't look that much different than the C version. I mean, yeah, you, you use package main instead of include. Um, well, C doesn't have something like a package really, but uh, you do include FM, import FMT instead of include STDIO. But um, other than that, you still have this main function and then you have um, print line here, but we have printf also, as you know, in Go. Um, what about this? This is Python and Scala, and they look so very similar, right? Again, print and print line. The first one is Python, the second one is Scala. But um, you get the same result with just this single line in a file, you can run it and you can get the same result. Certain things, the newer languages are easy, very easy to do, manipulating maps and so on, right? Even printing out something like hello world, they don't go through all the ceremony of creating a function for us and all this stuff that you need to wrap it in. But if, like I say, you want to manipulate a map, let's say this is in Go, we have maps built into the language. But we still have to say that we have a map of string of type key is string and it, um, the value is a string. And then now you can initialize the map and then you can add things to the map. And then if you take um, a similar program that is going to do the exact same thing, give you the same result, and you code that up in C++, this is what it looked like, right? Um, might look a lot different, but still there's certain things going on here you had to um, still, you know, access this STD thing, which almost look like a package in, in that we might be accustomed to in Go. And so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take very simple things and look at them, um, compare them to different languages. And the intent is not to really say that one language is better. Even though I might slip up and actually say I prefer a particular language, you're going to see that, oh, um, don't expect your favorite language if you have one to always come out on top, right? And for me, my favorite language right now is Go, and I still like C. And in a lot of places, you're going to see C lose out, but I still love C. Anyway, that's the, the series. Um, I hope you're going to join me for it. You don't have to know all these languages. I think it's just going to be fun to just see. Um, some of these languages I don't know well at all. Um, so take Scala, for example, is a language I started learning. 
um, years like a year ago, and then I picked it back up earlier this year, and then I put it back down. So everything for me that I do in Scala is just gonna be um, me going back to it, and because I really don't remember. Um, Python is the same thing. I started learning Python a few years ago. Then I decided, well, I don't really need Python now, so I put it down. But we're gonna look at it in a nice, fun way. Um, is not to start a war. So this is not a language war like we had, like with the editor war of the VI versus um, Emacs, right? It's not gonna be one of those or C++ versus Java. No, it's not going to be that at all. So again, in short, I'm sorry about the sharpness of the video. I'm going to try and get that fixed. Hopefully you join me. I don't want to make this too long, but that is the idea. Just have some fun comparing languages. And this is for anyone who's just, just like programming language or just curious and you want to see a number of languages. Even if you know all these languages already, um, still um, come and check it out. And I welcome submissions. So if you if you see me um, do an example and you think it differently or you know that's not the canonical way in that language, definitely um, submit it. Or you can even submit stuff before I post it and say, hey, how about here's an example, and then ask me to do it in some other language, and I'll try my best, right? Um, so take care and look forward to seeing you in the rest of the series.